An important gas absorption application is the transfer of ammonia to water. A gaseous mixture of ammonia and air is bubbled through water. Let's take a closer look at the process by examining a single bubble. The ammonia is inside the air bubble and initially there is no ammonia in the water. Since the system is not at equilibrium, some of the ammonia molecules will travel from the bubble through the interface into the water. If sufficient time is available, the transfer of ammonia will continue until equilibrium is achieved. We will use boundary layers to model the mass transfer in these systems. Let's break the bubble into two regions, the bulk region and the boundary layer near the interface. The concentration of ammonia is uniform in the bulk region, but varies across the boundary layer. We do the same thing on the liquid side by dividing the water into a bulk region and boundary layer. In the water, the concentration is uniform in the bulk region that varies across the liquid side boundary layer. In order to accurately predict mass transfer rates, we need to be able to predict the thickness of the boundary layer and diffusion rates across the boundary layer. And we need to do this on both the gas and liquid side. The mass transfer coefficient will be used to quantify both of these effects.